everybody, my name is Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny. Thank you so much for joining me in my video today, which is a little kind of sewing haul. I've got some patterns and some fabric to show you. Now, it is absolutely chucking it down outside, so I'm sorry if you can hear any kind of rain in the background. I've also had to turn the main light on because, yeah, there's just no light anywhere. <laughs> so I hope you'll be able to see all the fabrics um, and everything kind of in good light. So if anyone's wondering, I am wearing today um, a Nina Lee Southbank sweater. Uh, this is a gorgeous modal um, French terry that I was uh, given uh, by Felicity Fabrics. Um, I think it was actually around about this time last year. And I did it for one of their uh, like reviews and uh, yeah, a little Southbank sweater dress. And if I pan you down a bit lower there, you can see um, as I sit down, it just comes to my knee. I've got some leggings on underneath. So uh, yeah, it's just starting to get a little bit chilly now. So <laughs> I am reaching more towards jumpers and uh, more cozy things. <laughs> so uh, where should I start first? Uh, shall we start off with some patterns? So the patterns that I picked up, these are all McCall's patterns because McCall's had a sale, a 50% off sale um, a few weeks back. And I thought I would pick myself some up. Now, um, I actually picked these up from Minerva.com because I'm part of their craft club membership. And I think it's where you pay um, a set amount for the year and you get 10% off um, at any one time. Um, and if they have sort of special deals and discounts, you also get an additional 10% off as well. So I actually got 60% off these patterns. So that's why I bought them from there. And um, yeah, I did get a few. On there, I got one, two, three, four, five. So let's show you what I got. The first one I picked up was M8027, and it is this lovely little shirt pattern here. And the reason why I picked this one up is you may have seen that um, I think in one of my uh, last sort of sewing hauls, I met up with the lovely Anna, who's You Got Me in Stitches over on YouTube. And um, she was having a look through um, like some patterns and things because obviously she wanted to take advantage of the 50% off as well. And I kind of pointed out to her, I said, oh, well, actually, have you seen the details on the back? And then she was like, oh yeah, definitely pick that up. And then I was like, Oh, I kind of want that now. <laughs> so I made sure I added this um, to my cart. Um, so yeah, if, if from the front, you can just see it maybe just looks like quite a basic sort of shirt. But if you turn it round and look at the line drawings on the back, you can see that we've got like a little lace up back detail. We've got that you can do contrast colours with it um, with like the yoke and like underneath bits here. You can do like a little ruched side bits here as well. And then kind of like your basic um, plain version. So I just thought that was really, really pretty. Now, I know that Anna, I think, has started cutting this out. And I think she said that um, when she was cutting it, some of the pattern pieces were a little bit off. So, um, yeah, I'm going to kind of, <laughs> I'm going to take a, a seat back and uh, wait for her to do hers. <laughs> and get feedback before I start doing this one. Um, but I love a shirt, I love a shirt dress, all, all that sort of stuff, so um, I can't uh, I can't resist a shirt pattern. So um, yeah, really happy with that one, and hopefully Anna will be able to give me some tips when she's finished hers. <laughs> Next one I picked up was M8219, which is this one here, and this is designed for knits, this one. Now, I wouldn't do this version, um, I just don't do cropped at all, <laughs> it's not me, um, but I really like these two versions, especially this one, because I thought this one would be a brilliant little scrap buster. If I show you the back with the line drawings, um, you can see on here that it's actually got um, two different like sections here, so you've got the wrap top and then you've got the, um, the bodice bit underneath. So I thought you could do maybe like two different colours or you could do like a plain fabric and a floral fabric or something. You've also got the back as well. It is split down the back. So again, you can use colour blocking for that. So I just thought this one in particular would just be really good for scrap busting or any of those pieces of fabrics where I've only got maybe like a metre. I think on this one, I think this particular version here does take just under a metre, I think. Um, it's got on here, where are we? View B, uh, yeah, it's got um, one yard. So yeah, so just ever so slightly under a meter. 
So uh, yeah, I just thought that one would be really, really nice. I know we're probably not getting the weather for this particular version, but then this one with the long sleeves, I thought would be a lovely option as well. And then next up, another one designed for knits, which is M7910. And this one, I just thought was so fun. I just had to pick it up. Now, I wouldn't wear it like this. <laughs> I mean, hats off to anyone that would. I just think, you know, it's brilliant, but I wouldn't feel confident um, with that amount of uh, boobage on show. <laughs> but I thought this one especially, if you'd seen my sew along for my Joni jumpsuit, that is a knit pull on jumpsuit. And I love wearing a t-shirt underneath it. And it's just been so comfortable to wear. It is like secret pajamas. And I just thought this might be a bit similar where you can then wear something underneath it. And because of this plunge V-neck, I thought you could actually dress it up a little bit. I find with the with the Joni, I don't think that's a kind of, what I say is like a classy sort of like jumpsuit. That's more like a casual jumpsuit. Whereas this one, I'm thinking you could wear for like parties and things. You know, if you wore something maybe with some lace sleeves or something underneath it, I think would be really, really pretty. And you get quite a lot of variations in this pattern as well. So you get different top versions. So you've got the plunge um, version. You've got like this lovely high neck version, which I would really like to do. And then this one shoulder. And then you've got different trousers. So these trousers are wide leg. And you probably won't be able to tell, but they've got a split going up to about here. And then you've got these ones, which are the ones um, kind of without a split. And then you've got the ones uh, that are tapered. So you can kind of see they've kind of put on the, the numbers uh, so you can combine any bodice and any trouser that you want to create the look you're going for. So I just think that was really nice. And I just thought as well, because it's designed for knits and, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're coming into, you know, kind of like times when you can go out a bit more, more parties, things like that. I mean, I can imagine like something like this in like a lovely like stretch velvet or something would be absolutely gorgeous to wear, especially obviously near Christmas as well. I just think that would be absolutely gorgeous. So I thought I'd pick that one up just because I thought it was a bit of fun. <laughs> And then the next one is uh, M7889. And I love this one. This one is a lovely little dress. And I especially love this version here, which is a little pussy bow blouse um, sort of one here. And then you've got, can you see all these sort of little pin tucks around the waist? It's absolutely adorable. I do like this one as well. It's kind of the uh, similar to this one, but without the little bow. Um, but you've got the additional little ruffle on the bottom, which I think is really, really sweet. I'm not sure if I'd make the blouse. And it's quite nice. Um, but then you've also got uh, this one here with the big sleeves as well. So I just thought that was really, really sweet. And I just thought it would look really nice just for work. And also you could layer it up, you know, with some tights and things as well. And um, yeah, let me show you the line drawing on the back as well. So you can kind of see all those variations. But I just love all these like little tucks to really give you a really nice shape, but still be, um, as you can tell from the picture, quite kind of oversized looking. So I do like that. I do like things to be, you know, quite kind of roomy and casual, but I do like to show off a little bit of silhouette. So I thought that one was lovely and I can't wait to make something out of that, especially with that gorgeous little kind of pussy bow. I love that. And then the last pattern that I picked up was M6044. And this isn't for me. <laughs> this is a men's shirt pattern. And I've actually seen a few people um, make this, especially um, hats off to Liz, the baker that sews. I saw some of her um, like holiday snaps and some of her like YouTube videos where she was talking about makes that she, uh, that she did for holiday. And she made her husband a couple of these shirts, which looked gorgeous. And she said that they came together really quickly and it was actually quite straightforward. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna give this a go. 
you know it's kind of I mean Stuart's never asked for a shirt or anything like that but I just thought it would be nice to uh, maybe give it a go sometime and the one that I'd be interested in making is this one so view A which is the most kind of basic version I'll show you the line drawings on the back you do have a few different variations though I mean this one is very basic but then you do have the ones where you've got the um like the yoke pieces as well you might be able to sit a little bit better actually on the front with the with the yoke pieces so um yeah I just thought that one was a really nice uh, little pattern and I thought it would be nice to have a go if I wanted to you know expand my knowledge on kind of menswear so yeah that was that one so on to the fabric. So I've got three bits of fabric that I'd like to uh, share with you. And these I actually picked up uh, when I went fabric shopping in Brighton recently. It was um, a couple of weeks ago now. Um, I had the privilege of meeting up with the lovely Cara who has the YouTube channel So So Mad. I'm sure you all know of her. I'll, I'll link her channel down below if you haven't. She's a lovely, lovely lady. We've been kind of chatting for quite a while because we are um, both um, kind of part of the blogger team for Felicity Fabrics. So we're in a little WhatsApp group. And also I noticed when she started up her channel, um, she mentioned where she lived. And actually she only lives kind of like half hour, like 40 minutes away from me. And um, you know, we're both kind of saying, like, oh, we must meet up, you know, for a cup of tea at some point. And then, you know, obviously with, you know, the ways of the world and everything, it obviously never, never happened. And um, it was so lovely because um, I got a message from Cara just saying, come on, let's actually, you know, meet up. Let's set a date and everything. It was so nice of her. And so we decided to meet up in Brighton and uh, go around the lanes and do some fabric shopping. And it was such a lovely day. I could have sat and chatted to Cara all day. She's such a sweet, kind soul. And um, yeah, it was just so lovely to actually meet her in person. So the first stop where we went to was, um, if you've ever been to Brighton, you can't go fabric shopping without going to Ditto Fabrics. It is a lovely, lovely shop, just filled with so many different varieties of fabric and uh, just perfect if you're into dressmaking, it is the place to go in Brighton. And we spent quite a while in there, even though it's quite a small shop, we just spent ages in there and just there's so many good fabrics. And um, I noticed this fabric and I just thought, oh, this would be lovely to make um, the uh, Tilly in the Buttons Rosa shirt dress. I've made the shirt of it before, but it's sleeveless version. I've always wanted to make the shirt dress version of it. And um, I've always kind of thought, I don't quite know what fabric to use. It's kind of, I want something sturdy enough you know it's going to be quite straightforward to sew because there's quite a lot of um like details on it but you know i don't want anything you know kind of with a too large a pattern or anything so i don't because it's got so many panels in it and um yeah i came across this gorgeous cotton and it is just a beautiful beautiful quality it is this one here how beautiful is that all those details in those flowers it's kind of on like this denim sort of colour background. It kind of looks like it should be like a chambray, but it is just kind of like, I mean, I know chambray is cotton, but it's kind of, you know, like that sort of uh, weave of it. And um, yeah, but it's just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. You may have seen that I had a fabric a little bit similar to this when I did my Felicity Fabrics um, vlog which was the sew along for the Friday Pattern Company Hughes dress. I'll pop a picture in here of that, but it's that kind of blue with the white flowers. And that was on um, a lovely cotton poplin. But yeah, it was very kind of like lightweight and really flowy, really nice. This one is, it's a gorgeous soft cotton, but it's actually got a little bit more weight to it, which is why I think it would be absolutely perfect for the Rosa shirt dress. So it's just gorgeous. There's just so many different flowers and I just love the blue with all these gorgeous white flowers on top. 
and there's just so many different ones and the fabric I think is busy enough that it I think it would be fine you know kind of splitting it into those different panels that the Rosa shirt dress has and yet it's just really really soft like it's not that sort of cotton which is kind of crispy if you kind of know what I mean it is really soft and I can just imagine just with wear and wash that it would just soften up beautifully so I just think that would be absolutely gorgeous as the um Tilly and the Buttons Rosa shirt dress so yeah hopefully I can get around to making that at some point because I think it'd be perfect going into autumn winter as well with you know teaming up with tights and you know like a cardigan or a little jacket but then also for like spring and even summer you know you could just wear it with you know bare legs and everything so uh yeah I got two and a half meters um of that so that's uh, should be enough to make that dress when uh, I get round to it, you know, add to the list of everything that I want to make. <laughs> and then when I was queuing up like for the um, the till, they had like a kind of little like sale section and um, just out of the corner of my eye, <laughs> I just kind of noticed this fabric and I just suddenly said to Cara, I was like, oh, well, I have to get this fabric. <laughs> You'll know why. So it is a lovely viscose and it is <laughs> cats. <laughs> I mean, I have to, I have to pick up cat fabric, don't I? And it is this lovely sort of, um, I don't really know kind of quite what colour it is, kind of like, I don't want to say beige because beige sounds just a bit boring, doesn't it? But it is kind of like maybe like a sort of nude, sort of um, like slightly pinky um, sort of background colour. And the cats are actually brown. They're like a really dark kind of chocolate brown. I just thought it was really pretty with all these tiny little cats. They just reminded me of like little misty cats. <laughs> and um, I just, I saw this and I just instantly was like, I want to make a sew over it to put away blouse with this. <laughs> so I picked up two meters of it and it was on sale as well. I can't remember how much it was off, but um, yeah, it just had like the last little bit on the roll. So I thought, yeah, that would make a lovely little pussy bow blouse and uh, it would be suitable even for work because the cats on there uh, are quite small. So um, yeah, it's just like a nice little, not quite sort of novelty print, but um, yeah, it's got cats on it. <laughs> and it is a lovely, lovely quality. And um, I'll just open it out for you so you can actually see a little bit more of it. Let's put it the right way up so the cats aren't upside down. There we go. So there it is. Sorry, it is a little bit creased. Um, I haven't had a chance to wash it yet. Um, but yeah, so it's a lovely flowy viscose and it's not too thin. So if I hold it up, you can't really see anything kind of behind it or anything. And uh, it's got kind of like the white background um, on the back there. So yeah. I just think that would make a lovely little pussy bow blouse. So yeah, that was everything that I picked up in Ditto Fabrics. I could have picked up so much more. They have so many lovely fabrics in there. They had so many lovely linens in there, like jerseys, like everything. It was so, so pretty. And uh, yeah, I could have bought so much more, but I'm really trying to be good. <laughs> So after we um, went to Ditto Fabrics, um, actually what I'll do is I'll insert a little picture because um, Cara took a picture of us in Ditto Fabrics and uh, yeah, so I'll pop that in here so you can see it. So after we went to Ditto Fabrics, we decided to stop off and have a cup of tea and a slice of cake. Um, I took a picture actually of us um, we were doing that, so I'll insert that as well. And uh, yeah, after we'd uh, refueled, we then went over to um, another shop in the lanes, which is called uh, New Fabric Fair. And this is the sort of shop, again, it, it was quite small, um, but it was absolutely packed. It's one of those shops that you just think, wow, I don't even know where to start. It was just completely, you know, floor to ceiling of bolts of fabric. And uh, yeah, you could probably only fit two people in the shop anyway. So me and Cara were the only ones in there anyway. And we were kind of squeezing through these little like rows of fabric. And um, yeah, they again, they had some lovely fabrics in there. But um, yeah, it was actually just, just before we were about to leave, I just noticed this fabric. And I just thought, wow, this is really pretty. 
so I had to pick up um, two meters of this um, and this is a viscose crepe or viscose crepe rather um, and it is gorgeous it's such a lovely again a lovely quality it's so nice when you can actually go out to a fabric shop and actually touch the fabric and feel it because I think if I'd seen this on online or something I would have kind of thought maybe it kind of might have just been you know kind of um a bit like you know lightweight or something like that but actually feeling it um in the shop it just feels gorgeous and it is this one I'm very green <laughs> so this is it so you've got this gorgeous green background these lovely little polka dots which I think are navy yet yeah, they're navy and then these gorgeous little flowers they are so lovely and I just thought it was beautiful. And um, as I say, yeah, the quality is really, really nice. It's kind of, it's lightweight in the sense of like, you know, if you were to get like a viscose, but because of the, the crepe sort of slight texture, I really don't know if the camera's gonna pick up any of the texture there. You just about see that sort of texture. Um, but yeah, it's just lovely. And it has got a little bit of weight to it and I love it when viscose has a little bit of weight to it because I just think it's lovely then to make into dresses because I can't stand it when you get a really lightweight viscose you make it into a dress you walk outside and literally the wind just completely takes off with your skirt <laughs> so I find with a slightly weightier um, viscose you know it's kind of um, when you kind of do like a double um, hem it gives it just that little tiny bit more structure where I mean yes you're still gonna your skirt's still gonna go up in the wind but it's not gonna maybe completely fly away but anyway <laughs> so yeah I just thought this one was really really pretty um, I don't know 100% what I'm gonna make from this I was thinking of just keeping it simple and doing something like um, I mean in my sewing plans I'm thinking about making the deer and doe dress from the ebook dressed which is actually in a green um, sort of polka dot uh, Lady McElroy one so I don't know if it might be a bit too similar making two like that or you know just something else you know maybe like the uh, like the fringe dress by chalk and notch um, I could make from that or well, to, be en uh, to be honest I could probably make quite a few different ones with it I have got two meters so I haven't got loads to play with um, for a dress but I wanted to keep it quite simple I think for this one um, but yeah I just I fell in love with this lovely gorgeous sort of like emerald sort of um, green Did you say it's emerald green I don't know I'm not too good with my colors <laughs> but yeah that one was um, a lovely little find as well so yeah that was all of the fabric that I picked up in Brighton I was so good just picking up three because I am really trying to be good because I'm so excited next weekend is the London Ali Pali knitting and stitching show and I've never been before it's my first time and uh, yeah I got myself a ticket and uh, I'm going with a couple of friends so it's just going to be so lovely to kind of experience that it's just going to be absolutely amazing so I'm going on Saturday so if you're going you know then if you do see me just say hi it'd be lovely to uh, say hello to you and uh, yeah so I'm really excited for that and uh, so yeah you may have seen three fabrics now but just there, there will be another fabric haul. I mean, I can't go there and not buy a fabric. So yeah, I will be showing you my uh, my haul afterwards, I'm sure. So I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, then just give me a thumbs up and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Have you made any of those patterns? If you have, let me know how you got on, any tips or tricks or anything like that would be lovely. So take care everybody and I will speak to you all very soon in my next video. Bye.